Maddy and today I'm at a hospital. Have you ever been to a hospital? You might have been to a hospital to visit someone who's poorly, they might have had an accident, or perhaps you've been poorly yourself. The doctors and nurses have lots of different ways to help people when they feel poorly or hurt. And sometimes they use clever machines to help them. They can look in your ears with one of these. It's called an otoscope. Looking good, Ted? And if they want to listen to your heartbeat or your breathing, they can use one of these. It's called a stethoscope. Just like that. But if we needed to look inside your body, we'd need to use a very special machine. And it's in here. I've been given special permission to have a look. This is an X-ray machine. And it can take pictures inside your body, like this one. These are the bones inside somebody's leg and foot. How incredible is that? But do you know how an X-ray machine works to take pictures inside our bodies? Let's find out. How does it work? X-ray. Inside our bodies, there are lots and lots of bones. A grown-up has 206 of them. This is what it looks like when all those bones are together. We each have one inside us, and it's called our skeleton. Skeletons look really funny, don't they? But skeletons have a very important job. They help to shape our body so that we can move around and they help move parts of our bodies, like our arms, our legs, and even our heads. Our bones are really strong and they help us to stand up straight and they protect the soft parts of our body. But sometimes if we fall over or have an accident, a doctor will need to check if we've broken a bone. And for that, they might need to take an X-ray. An X-ray machine is a special type of camera that takes pictures that will show us bones underneath our skin. And this is Sarah. Hi, Maddie. She's a radiographer, and that means she's in charge of the X-ray machine here at the hospital. This machine sends out special rays of light called X-rays that travel from the machine right through your body and onto one of these. It's called a cassette. Having an X-ray doesn't hurt we can't feel the x-rays when they pass through our body. And this is what an x-ray image looks like. Do you know what part of the body that is? Did you guess right? It's an arm. And there are three bones in the arm. The humerus, the radius, and the ulna. So this part is the elbow. But how does an X-ray machine work to send out those X-rays and make a picture of our bones? To find out, I think we need to take a closer look. When we have an X-ray, the machine makes a beam of X-ray light. X-rays are a type of light we can't see, and they're measured in wavelengths. The wavelengths travel through the air until they reach our body. X-rays are special because they can pass through our skin and muscles, but they don't pass through our bones. The X-rays are collected on the flat panel detector and sent to a computer so the radiographer can see the bones inside. The X-rays that pass through our body show as black areas, and the X-rays that didn't go through the bones show as a white shadow. Wasn't that interesting? And we're going to get to see it in action for ourselves. This is James, and a week ago he broke his wrist. But today he's getting an x ray to find out if his bones are in the right place so they can heal properly. First, Sarah moves the cassette and x ray machine into the right position. Can you see that red beam of light? That tells Sarah where the picture is going to be taken. Only the person having the x-ray can stay in the room, so Sarah and I are just keeping behind this panel. When Sarah presses this button, the x-rays travel from the machine through James's arm and down onto the cassette underneath. Then, Sarah carefully 
picks up the cassette that has saved the X-ray image of James's arm and puts it into this machine, which can show us the X-ray on the screen. And here we have an X-ray of James's wrist. James's broken bone is starting to heal, but he'll need to carry on wearing his plaster cast for another five weeks. How incredible is that? Finding out how x-rays work was really interesting, wasn't it? What was your favourite bit? What about yours? Can you remember what we call the machine that saves the x-ray information? That's right, it's called a cassette. Did you hear the sound that the x-ray machine made when Sarah pressed the button? And did you see the way bones show up as a white shadow on the x-ray image? Learning about the inside of our bodies with an x-ray machine was really interesting, wasn't it? But what about the outside of our bodies? There are lots of things we put on the outside of our bodies to protect them. Hats keep our head warm. Gloves keep our fingers toasty. And what about our feet? What do we put on our feet to keep those warm? That's right, socks. <laughs> but do you know how socks are made? Let's find out. How is it made? Socks are made. I've come here to a sock factory. They make one and a half million socks here every single year. That's enough socks to stretch all the way from London to Edinburgh. And they make them in all sorts of different colours and patterns. They have blue socks, pink spotty socks, stripy socks and even socks with flowers on them. Which one's your favourite? Sock making starts here on a computer. This is Chloe and Chloe is a designer and it's her job to think of the different colours and patterns that will be made into socks. Socks are made from yarn and all of the yarn is stored in here, the yarn store. Yarn is kept on reels like this called bobbins and they have every colour you can imagine. Most of the yarn here is made from wool, which comes from sheep, or cotton, which comes from plants. This machine is automated and that means it works all by itself. And that part is where all of the threads are knitted together. And the bobbins are put at the top of the machine. There are 176 needles that work together at the same time, knitting round and round, building the sock up like a tube. They work so quickly, they can make a pair of socks in just nine minutes. Whoa. On this type of knitting machine, the sock travels up a tube as it's being knitted. And when it's finished, it drops out the tube. <laughs> Here comes another one. <laughs> that made a fun flop sound, didn't it? But this sock is missing something. It's the right tube shape. But look! Oh dear, that's not going to keep my toes warm, is it? Don't worry. The toes get sewn up. And they do that here, in the linking room. The Vicky puts the end of the sock onto a toe closing machine and it's held in place by little pins called teeth. Look, now the sock is on the machine, it trims the top of it off. And can you see the needle? That's what's sewing the sock together. Better. Now my toes won't poke out the end. But all the socks are inside out. Ta-da! That looks so much better, doesn't it? But because they have so many socks here, they use a machine to turn them all the right way out. And I can give them special permission to have a go. This is a sock turning machine. And this part of it is a little bit like a vacuum cleaner. All I have to do 
is pull the inside out sock over the end and then it will suck the sock the right way round and then spit it out the other side. Ready? <laughs> Just like that! Let's have another go. Inside out sock, over the nozzle, let go! This is lots of fun, but it happens so quickly. I think we should film this with one of my special cameras. This camera films in slow motion, which means we can film something that happens really fast and watch it back much slower. Okay, here goes. Look, as I let go of the sock, it gets sucked into the tube, turning the sock the right way round, before it drops down through the trap door. I think the sock looks like a snake. <laughs> that looks brilliant. I'd like the sock turning machine at home for you. But the socks aren't ready yet. They need to be cleaned inside this giant washing machine. It's a bit like a washing machine you might have at home, only this one is five times bigger. It's massive. After the socks have been washed, they need to be dried and ironed. But they don't iron socks with an iron like this one. Here they use special ironing legs. The socks are put on the metal feet that go round a track into a steam chamber. And inside the chamber, hot steam irons the socks. iron socks. It's like the grabbers are pulling the socks off the feet just like we do at the end of the day. After the grabber has stacked the socks, they're put on a conveyor belt. And then they go through this machine which lifts the socks one at a time and then places them back down on another sock to make the perfect pair. And two socks make one pair. And here we have a finished pair of socks. They look great, don't they? I loved finding out how socks are made. What was your favourite bit? Do you remember what the coloured reels of yarn are called? That's right, bobbins. Did you hear the sound the door made when the sock came out of the tube? And did you see the sock being turned the right way round on my special slow motion camera? time you put on a pair of socks you'll know how they were made and if you see an x-ray picture you'll know how an x-ray machine works to show us the bones inside our bodies. I'll see you next time. There are lots of